Hi, it's September 24th, 2015. This is Wes Fryer, and this is a quick video to show how you can rebuild a classroom in NetSupport School. NetSupport School is a software program we're using in our uh, language labs, and uh, if I just uh, select the, the lab that's here and I say select, okay, um, it's possible that some of these may go dark and these these may not be available and so if you have that happen you can uh, go up to manage class and you can say end class and you can actually delete these uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna remove uh, these and, I'm, and I can rebuild them and this is these are the workstations that are here in the lab uh, we're using a PC mode because this is a wired lab so you select PC mode and then you say browse it's going to go out on the network and look for all the available computers, and we've got these uh, listed in uh, a chronological order starting with their number. So there's 01 for the upper language lab, and then we'll go all the way down here to 16. Okay, so I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to click. Okay. It's easier to do when you don't have to hold a phone in your hand. Okay, so I have just clicked on the first one. I held down shift and I clicked on the last one. So I have all 16 student machines. Now I'm going to click add and so all of those are added and then I have to give this a name. So I'll just call this UD Lang for, for upper division uh, language lab and I go ahead and click OK. So it's going to keep this saved as um, a classroom and so when I ch uh, choose select, this is what I'm going to select, and I click OK, uh, there it is. There's all the uh, computers in the in the language lab and uh, huh, for some reason it's got 10 out of order there, so we'll just drag that over there. So there they are, and now I can go ahead and uh, blank all the student screens if that's what I want to do, and they all turn blank. Go to my show menu to show my desktop, any of that stuff. That's how you rebuild the classroom if you need to in the Net Support School uh, app.